Let's get this thing started here, shall we? Let's get this thing started, oh yeah. Can everybody hear me okay? Make a little camera adjustment here. I got this camera going for me today, and I got this camera going for us today. How are we doing, everybody? I got this one for the finger close-ups. How about that? See, I'm this 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 is turning into a professional operation. Oh yeah. All right. So let's play a little bit of this tune called the what's it called? Uh, the uh, Rock Valley Jig. I get it. I'll take a citizen's arrest on that. Just one, so. Let's play a little bit of the Rock Valley jig. Hey, you know what you're watching, folks? You're here watching. Oh, listen. It's the dove. The noon, the noon dove. You're watching Fiddle for du No, this isn't Fiddle for Duffers. What in the world? This is, man, man, I'm off my day. This is Mandolin for Duffers, folks. Mandolin for Duffers. If you're here to learn to play the fiddle, you're, you're out of luck. So it's a Rock Valley jig. It's a, I consider this kind of a, you know, New Brunswick, Ontario, Eastern Ontario kind of tune, you know. One of those tunes that would have been played on the radio a lot back in the day when Don Messer was playing and all those guys. Uh, so let's play a little bit of the Rock Valley jig. Here we go. not overplay. We're probably going to only do about 15 or 20 minutes today. I don't want to overplay, but I've reached the point in my recovery where, you know, you can only hold it in the brace so long and then it starts to, uh, you, you lose a little strength and it gets stiff. So I'm exercising it, but not too much. So don't, don't get excited if I quit in, you know, 15 minutes or so. Okay. So let's, uh, let's talk about the key of C. So there's really, there's basically three chords in this, maybe a fourth, if you're playing it accompaniment to this. So let's think about, so in the key of C, let's play a C scale, shall we? So remember remember our bit with whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. That's how you make a major scale, right? So let's just do that right now. So I'm going to switch cameras here so you can see up close what I'm doing. -da 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 -da. Starting right here. If I went on down, okay, so let's start here on this open G, and just play from here up to this C. Now remember on the on the G string, it's this finger pattern, that one, and on the other string, it's this finger pattern. On the In, in the key of C, on the D and A strings, it's this finger pattern, but right here, right now, it's this this one right here. Okay, and oh, sorry, I've got it backwards. It's this finger pattern on the D and A, and this finger pattern on the G. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> sorry, this G. Here we're going to play C scale. Finger pattern F natural, A B C back down. Are you with me? Okay, now, oh, Susan, hey, what's going on? Kim, we got Susan, we got Kim, we got Tim, we got Ken, we got Charlie, and there's other people in the background watching, so that's good. All right, so now, let's, uh, let's remember our C chord. Remember I said to make the major chord, it's the first, third, and fifth scale degrees. So it's, so it's C, C, D, E, that's the third, 
E, F, G, that's a fifth, so it's C, E, G, C, G, yeah, but let's play that arpeggio. And then that G could work. Remember all those different things we did with my little chart? Hang on, sorry. Close enough. Okay, so let's let's play G, open G. So open G, C on the G string, E, G, C, E, G, E, C, G, E, C, G. So that's so C, 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 E, and C will make a. That's a C chord. We can use that C chord form. I like that form. There it is right there. Okay, so now let's, uh, the next chord we need is an F chord. Okay, so I'm going to play that simple. I'm just going to play these two notes, you know. You don't have to work hard to play chords on the mandolin because you're just going to chunk them or, or you're going to tremolo them or whatever, you know, so... So I'm going to use this C chord. I'm going to use this F chord. And you know what? If you sneak your pinky down here, that becomes a kind of a D minor or an F6. See, I've got my pinky. Or you could use this finger, but I think I prefer to use my pinky. I don't like to stretch that much. So pinky on the... I'm not playing the E string at all. Pinky on the 5th fret or the D note on the A string, 2nd finger on the 3rd fret of the D string for an F, and this is an A. <clears throat> so what I can do there, so the tune actually goes C, da, 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 F, and D minor. If we listen to Pat play it you know, on the piano, she's going to go do, 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 and then G. That G chord. We're going to play this B on the G string, and that G on the D string, and this B on the A string, and I'm not going to play the E at all. Just kind of like damp it, you know. Don't 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 go down there and play that. So if I played the tune, and the chords would be like this. No, sorry. Okay. So now let's let's look at the tune here. So it starts out like this. Now I'm just going to show you the first part today. I'll show you the second part next week. Because this is Duffer's class, right? I don't want to overload you, you know. But you can get the dots and the tab from uh, from the post and in the resource folder on patreon.com forward slash Charlie Walden. So if you need, want the dots and tab, they're there to, for the taking. That's the first part, so let's start right here. You know, this is the tune I call the Leave It to Beaver jig. Leave It to Beaver. I can't do it when I've had this tune, but it's very much like the Leave It to Beaver theme, trust me. So <laughs> you'd have to be my vintage or older to know about Leave It to Beaver, but that's okay. You may have seen it in syndication if you're a youngster. We're just going to play that passage. God scale, G scale to the C. See, now that's, that's arpeggio, right? And then, so it's scale, arpeggio, and then scale back down. So let's do this part. Just everybody do this with me.
then E, G. Then G, F, E, D, E, F. All on the D string. Then open A. Now, now let's play a G arpeggio. G, G, B, D. Do that. I'm setting you up for the next little phrase. Then open A. G, F sharp, G. Play A, G, F sharp, G. Two Gs. G, F sharp, G, G, B. play all the little phrases for you now. Let's do that again. Now A, open A. So the only difference at the end is, you, so I'll play you all the way up to the end. Okay. How'd you do, folks? Like I said, I don't want to overplay just this week, so I'm going to stop right there. That So that gives you good practice with your scale in G, your scale in C, sorry, and some of your arpeggios, and the first part of Rock Valley Jig. You know what you're going to get next week? More of the same, and the second part of Rock Valley Jig. Until then, friends, neighbors, thanks for joining me. This is going to be Available at patreon.com forward slash Charlie Walden momentarily. And uh, I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye. Thanks for coming. Thanks for tuning in today.